Hi guys, how's it going? We're here today because I'm gonna do a little payback challenge after what you did to me. What? Why do I need to be paid back? <laughs> today I'm gonna do a little quiz with Lauren on how Swedish she has become. Okay, so this is payback for me uh, making fun of your language. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I guess that's fair. Maybe you are a pro, so take the quiz with us. You probably should beat me if you're Swedish. <laughs> if you're Swedish, maybe. Bring them on, bring them on. Okay, 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 okay. Question number one. What is surströmming? Okay, surströmming is a vile fermented fish that you get in a can that everybody in Sweden talks about being really, really gross, but like I feel like only maybe 10% of Swedes have actually smelled it. <laughs> what type of fish is it? A uh, herring. Okay, cool. Is that, that is correct. <gasps> yeah. What? Question number two. What do we do around the midsummer pole? You dance like frogs. <laughs> That's true, we dance around it pretending to be frogs. That is correct. Oh. Two for two. What do we put under our pillows on Midsummer's Eve? A flower. Ooh, that's, you know, I'm gonna say meh. <gasps> no? Well, it's seven flowers and it's pretty sacred. It's oh, pretty holy. no. <laughs> okay, I should have said some blomsters, there you go. Oh, I should have said blue. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you should have. Okay, so no, I don't think that's right. Next question. Who has written Pippi Longstocking? Astrid Lindgren. Ching. What are the two most popular Swedish Christmas drinks? Look. That's easy. Hot chocolate. Oh man! I'm gonna say half point. Sort of. Gleg and you will must. You love you. you. Must. Oh yes. You sir. guys. I was thinking hot drinks. You must is a cold you soda. You must okay. is like. Mm, it's so good, right? What's the name of the biggest lake in Sweden? Uh, Malaren. Oh, that's a great guess, but. It, not, that's not quite right. It's Vannen. Is Mallard in a lake? <laughs> no, well, it's actually lake and an ocean. It's brackish. So. Oh, but it's a place, like it's a place with water. Uh, I didn't just make up the No, thing. no, no. It's a big place of a lot of, like, yeah. So that wasn't a completely stupid guess. No, except for not being really a lake. Okay, sassy pants. <laughs> Next question. Ready. What is Sweden's most southern city? Malmö. Trelleborg. No. No, it's Malmö. No, it's not Malmö. It's Trelleborg. No, it's Malmö. Okay, fine. Wrong. <laughs> okay. I don't even know. But now you also have to pronounce it. Trelleborg. Trelleborg. Why does it sound French? Um, because it's uh, Skolska. <laughs> this is a really important one. When is Sweden's national day? August something. June 6th. I'm sorry, you guys. What is the name of our crown princess? Uh, Catherine. No, nah, but I can see that you're like. Cass Christina, no, Christina. No, I'm gonna say <clears throat> Victoria. Oh! <laughs> I was so off. Why am I? Oh, because that's your favorite. Uh, oh, Queen past. Christina, but yeah, but yeah, she but was no, also the queen in the 1600s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. So you're only a couple of hundred mm -hmm. years late. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. What is Sweden's third largest city? You got this. You got this. The Malmö. Yeah. The Malmö. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The Malmö. You got it. Next question. How many people live in Sweden? Eight million. 8.5 million, maybe nine million. 
What's your final answer? Eight million. Eight and a half million. Nice. <laughs> final answer. Eight and a half million. Nine. Ha! Mm, that's so close. That is so close. That's good. But good is not always correct. <laughs> okay. Fun. Oxo. Next question is so tricky that I decided to give you a couple of options. How much of Sweden's surface is covered by water? A. 21%. B, 8%. C, 13%. 13%. This <laughs> It is B. Eight, sorry. 8%? Yeah, I can still with a lot of lip gloss. <laughs> Next question is also tricky to the point where I decided to give you three options again. When was homosexuality legalized in Sweden? We have A, 1944. Okay. We have B, 1961. Okay. And we have C, 1980. Mm, I'm going to say 1980. 1944. Are you serious? 1944. That's Who really would awesome. have thought? Next question. Mm -hmm. Swedes eat more candy than any other country in the world. What are the three top favorite candies of our bowl candy? Let's get this cool. Do I have to pick the exact candy? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say a salty licorice. I'm gonna say Bilar. Bilar. And I'm going to say uh, the ones that look really good. What is it? Like a baby rattle? Which ones do you mean? Yeah, the ones that's like a loop on one end and like a. Oh my god. You got it! Are you serious? Okay, what? No, what? what? Okay, you got. I, I, it's just so good that I'm gonna give you points. Okay. It was the pacifiers. Uh huh. Okay, in yeah. the in that there's like a, a brown and white one, and then there's yeah. like a multicolored. Yeah. Yeah, and I said that those were the baby rattles, but that's. I, I figured yeah. you didn't really know, but we call them nut butter, and nut is past by it. So yes, but that is correct. Salty licorice was actually not on the list. I was kind of upset, and I I wanted to you know put in some comments on that list, but I did it. That was not on the list. However. The bottles, the turquoise and pink bottles that are like mm. really sour, fizzy, those were. Yeah, okay. And then a type of chocolate. But this was a very hard question, you guys. Honestly, like no sweets, very few sweets would have even had this right. So I'm gonna give you a, a point for this one. Wow. Also, I would just want to bring something up really quick about uh, you guys' uh, lower dog smoothies or <laughs> your candy obsession. Oh my God, it's um, real. Okay. It's real. Okay. Why is it that every time you guys buy candy, you always buy some of those chocolate, but like nobody eats it? So you buy like the chocolate and then you buy like all these other like, um, like the sour candies and, and the, those ones and the salty licorice and stuff. And then you put it all in a bowl, like a good sweet. And then everyone always takes all the sour candies and then what's left is just a pile of chocolate. So why do you even get the chocolate? Is that true? Is yes. that true? Do you guys do that? I don't think I do that. At least it's like the very last taken. But okay, it's time for our second to last question. Okay, okay. All right. Mm. You're gonna love this one. Mm. What are the two most common names in Sweden, boy and girl? Okay, one boy and one girl? Yeah. Johan is really popular. And time is starting to run out. I'm gonna count down from 10. 10 okay, uh, nine, um, eight, uh, seven. You're six. counting so fast. Can you count quieter? Because I need to focus. Six. Uh, Johan and Matilda. Great guesses, but they're <laughs> both wrong. <laughs> it is Maria or Eric. Bah! Maria no. and Eric. That's yes. Not true. <sighs> Last question. Last question. All right. Ready. I'm not doing that good anymore. Name okay. one of the two most popular 
Snaps in Sweden. O.P. Anderson and Linje. You got it! I know the alcohol. <laughs> That's so damn sure. <laughs> oh my god. That was really good. Mm-hmm. You did really good. Did I make up hard questions? Was it fairly easy? I think it was uh, just right. Lagom. Oh. <laughs> so Swedish of me. How did you guys do on the quiz? Did you know all the answers to all the things? Did you know that only 8% of Sweden is covered in water? Probably. You probably knew that. Whatever. How about the gay rights question? Speaking of gay rights, did you know that Australia just, yes. just voted? Yes. For the gays. Mm. Congratulations, mm. guys. About time. And also about time to reel the points. <laughs> yeah, so how many points did I get? It's pretty good. Seven out of 16. It's not so bad. I've got some work to do. That's true. I should have known Victoria. However, seven out of 16 is not bad when the questions are pretty hard and you have only been a Swede for about two years. We want to know how you guys did on the test. Did you know your own answers <laughs> to your own country questions? And also super fun if you're not from Sweden and only know a little bit about Sweden, did you get any rights? Did you close this video out before the third question? <laughs> all right, you guys. That was it for today's challenge. I can feel all the heat from Lauren. She's pretty like flustered and stressed really out. Flustered. So we're going to close this video. All right, you guys. Thanks for playing <laughs> along. We had a great time today and we will see you next week. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, wait, I must have no stress myself. Come on. I just really want to sneeze. It's been like, ah, oh, it's been bothering me so long. <laughs> just sneeze. No, it's gone. Oh, it's coming back. I'm gonna look up and the lights. Oh.